Hello friends and fellow flute enthusiasts and welcome back. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you a new flute that Peter Churcher and I have been working on. Last year we had a fusion flute in the key of F sharp. And what we've done this time is we brought back the fusion flute, but it's in a different key and a different wood. Um, Peter was able to acquire um, a large batch of this wood. It's called, I thought it was Bacote, but it's pronounced Bacote. Bacote. I love that. <laughs> so it's a really, really nice wood. This flute's in the key of A. And we did a couple of different design uh, things here. Peter um, really thought about the flute player when, when he designed this. The slow air chamber is a little bit longer and it gives it just a, 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 a nicer design. It kind of balances out the flute. This is a seven eighths inch bore on this flute. So typically for the key of A, we see a lot of three quarter inch bore. Um, the seven eighths uh, bore beefs this flute up a little bit. So a longer, slower chamber, but also the mouthpiece on this one is very different than what Peter has done in the past. So we see mouthpieces specifically, we see some that are, let me go off the cuff here, so some that are more nipple style like this. We see this, this is a Gary Cool flute, um, but we also see these on like Butch Hall flutes, uh, John Norris flutes, uh, some JP Gomez flutes, um, and we see this kind of flattened mouthpiece on, um, on something like a wood sounds flute or a high spirit flute also has a little bit more of that. And what, what the reason I like this is because when we open our mouth just a little, you know, that's that's the shape of the inside of our mouth when we naturally open it. So we don't have to purse our lips and bring in the sides as much. Uh, we have a couple of uh, little homemade cabochons here. Peter has been experimenting a little bit. So um, I forget exactly what he named these, something really cool and special. We'll have that on the website. But this uh, video, the purpose of this is to just show you what the flute looks like in my hands, not just a photo, um, but also what it sounds like. So before I play it, I want to bring this up close so you can see because the fusion flutes bring together, the reason they're called fusion, they fuse together wood and also um, this resin. And I like the choice of this resin too. What this reminds me of is a riverbed. I'm gonna come up close here. And you can see this is the Bacote. And then as we go along here, you can see, I'm just gonna twist it a little bit. So we get this, you know, this nice blue color in here with that wood. close up that mouthpiece. Maybe it's not going to focus. There we go. All right. The flute's about uh, 25 inches in length. And here's how she sounds. I'm going to bring on the reverb. friends, there you have it. Uh, this is the new fusion flute um, from Peter Churcher. I'll have a link in the description below where you can uh, see more photos of this and get more information on it if you're interested in adding this one to your flute collection. Thanks so much. And uh, hey, if you're new here, um, I noticed that we have a lot of viewers who are not subscribed. 
So if that's you, if you're new here or you watch these videos and you don't subscribe, please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell so you can learn about cool things uh, like this flute when we uh, put videos out. By any means, I really appreciate your viewership and your support. And if there's anything I can do to help you along your flute journey, please let me know. We'll see you in another video.